auto tech nice little old amp you feel me i like like i said i like the way this amp look so that's why i always liked having it in this car but now i gotta swap over my other lines and then the power ground and remote so let's get to work on that the power light come on so let's go ahead and turn over the amp so eq on y'all see the eq is on let's see if the amp come on oh it's on let's see if it's in power or protection mode okay it's on can y'all yeah y'all see it rockville amp is on so let me go ahead and shut it off hook up the speakers and then we're gonna test everything oh no nah something going on nah that that ain't right you feel me What's up guys, it's your boy Deuce, back with another video, and this will be the last video I'm recording on the amps and the speaker my dad gave me, you feel me? So if y'all didn't check out the last video, I uh, tested the speaker my dad gave me with, like I told y'all, one of the biggest magnet sizes I've ever seen in person, you feel me? I ain't never seen one bigger than that in person, but then again, where I live, people not too heavily in cars and music, you feel me? So yeah, you'll see a few old school cars, but it'll be like retired older gentlemen and women driving them cars and they're i mean they some of them look unrestored but they might have just been restored just to its original form you know what i'm saying you don't see too many custom cars it may be like two three four it, no more than like two handfuls you feel me of custom cars especially custom older cars and it's a it's a few people i should say hood people you feel me a few hood people with music in their cars but not too many people have music in their cars, you feel me? And I'm one of the few, you know? I, luckily, I grew around with my pops and he had custom cars, custom old cars, custom paint jobs, custom interior, wheels, and music. So I grew around that and that's something I've always loved and I always wanted to do with my personal cars. And he gave me another amp, he bought another amp, and he told me to test it. And don't tell him, but if it worked, I'm keeping it. And if it worked good with my subs, I'm putting it in this car. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell him though. Don't let him know that. But yeah, man. Um, yeah. So he got a Rockville amp, 1500 watts, and I do want to put it in this car because the amp I have in here is a street machine, and I think it's 500 watts. I'm gonna have to look at it again, but I already got it put out. So yeah, I think it's 500 watts that's in this car right now, and it's not pushing enough power to them three. 12s that I got in my trunk you feel what I'm saying it'll play but if if a song got a whole lot of bass in it the amp will cut off you know what I'm saying so the amp's not strong enough for all three of them subs and I've, I've been wanting to change it I just didn't want to spend no money because y'all know I got money tied into getting my box Chevy finished getting my cutlass out of the shop which is still getting worked on now fabricated so I can't really can't really waste money on buying music when I don't need to right now. You know what I'm saying? The music I have in here is getting me by, and it's good enough for me. I don't care about competitions. I don't care about beating the block down. I just want enough bass for personal use only. You know what I'm saying? So having the amps and stuff and the speakers and all this type of stuff in these cars, like I said, I'm not in competition with nobody, and I don't care about having the best system or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Just It's just for me to have a little bit of bass while I'm driving and listening to music. You feel me? I don't care about having too much bass, a whole lot of bass, being too loud, none of that. Just enough bass for me. You know? That's all I really care about. And I've been wanting to upgrade this amp, but I, like I said, I didn't want to put no money into music right now until I actually get somewhat closer to the finish line with my other two car builds. So, yeah, we're going to get out. We're going to check out this amp. We're going to pull the speakers out. We're going to keep rocking out like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell all the way up. You'll be every time I drop. Share the channel. Share this video. Let's keep growing and elevating together. And I'll catch y'all once I get outside. So, y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Outside of the car now. And this is the amp right here. It's a Rockville DB15. So, I'm, I'm guessing that means 1,500 watts. You feel me? So, yeah. The 
power and protection motors on the side so when we hear you to see if the amp work i'm gonna have to look at the side you know what i'm saying and put my lines in my input output and i got one speaker wire hooked up because i already had it taken out from my scars you know what i'm saying so got one hooked up already and i just got to hook up my power remote ground the other speaker wire and go from there you know what i'm saying turn it on see if it cut on see if it worked you feel me so let's get started first thing i gotta do is y'all know pull them speakers out so let's go ahead and get to work Let me go ahead and grab this Rockville, which is actually pretty, it's a pretty big amp, you feel me, it's pretty heavy, you know what I'm saying? screwdriver y'all one second actually i'm come down come a little closer real quick so basically all i'm doing first is swapping over this wire so yeah you know what i'm saying i'm getting this out so i'm getting out the well gotta get my other my other screw head so the first one i'm getting out is the positive Positive is out. Swap through heads again and put my Allen head on. a little shaky it ain't because i'm scared it's just that's just how i've always been my hands always been somewhat shaky you feel what i'm saying but we prosper through it you know what i'm saying we fight through this all right make sure that's tight and let's get this last one out which is the negative negative out twist it up a little more and then fold it and then put it in there and now I'm done with this auto tech street master hopefully this Rockville turns on I don't see it needing no fuses because I don't even see fuses you feel me but now we are done. Ouch, hit my head on the trunk. We are done with this auto tech. I might find another use for it for something else, you feel me? But, uh, 700 watts, not 500. 700, can y'all see it? So, 700 watts. Yeah, auto tech, nice little old amp, you feel me? I like, like I said, I like the way this amp look. So that's why I always liked having it in this car. But now I gotta swap over my other lines and then the power ground and remote. So let's get to work on that. Set you up here again. So I got them lines switched over. I'm gonna undo all of these power ground 
and remote and push them out of the way so they don't touch nothing get this ground out so I don't try and shock myself all right get that out of the way just like that now let's get this remote out And this amp is out. And like I said, I'm probably gonna throw this one in my box Chevy. Sound stream, and it's 2,000 watts. You feel what I'm saying? Plenty of what I wanna do in that box Chevy. Plenty. But I know y'all told me the wattage don't matter with some and all that type of stuff. You feel me? I Honestly, I don't get it. But it is what it is, you feel me? I'ma keep doing my research on this stuff. Keep learning and keep going from there. You know what I'm saying? That's how we are gonna keep rocking out. So, I gotta make sure I see which one is the power and which one is the ground so I don't swap them. All right, the ground is this back one. So, actually I wanna put the power and remote in first. All right, hold on. Turn y'all this way. Nice and tight. All right, now I can't see. Black. I think I got it there. Gotta keep swapping these screw heads, you feel what I'm saying? And then we should get some spark when we put the ground in. And that'll let me know power is there. Nice and tight. So, like I said, we should get a spark. No? No spark? Hold on. No spark. Alright, nice and tight. Alright, pull this remote. Alright. Alright, I need to leave that over so I can make sure I see the power light come on. So let's go ahead and turn over the amp. So EQ on. Y'all see the EQ is on. Let's see if the amp come on. Oh, it's on. See if it's in power or protection mode. Okay. It's on, can y'all, yeah, y'all see it. Rockville amp is on, so let me go ahead and shut it off, hook up the speakers, and then we're gonna test everything. Y'all see everything in one take, so I ain't trying to BS y'all. So, yeah, get these tools out of the way, and hopefully this, Hopefully this Rockville amp beat harder than this Street Math, Street Machine, Auto Tech, you feel me? And if it do, I'm gonna leave it in there, like I said. And the sound stream I wanna put in my box Chevy. And here, maybe put it alongside that Memphis amp and have both of them in there. I don't even know how many watts that Memphis amp is. But let me quit talking, bro. I gotta lift the speaker up, put it here, and then plug the wires back in. What is this? Get one of them, one of them popped out. All right, scoop that back. Oh, I guess I didn't have it pushed all the way in. So, yeah, let me go ahead and finish doing this. Put the speakers up here so I could put plug this side back up, and I put the tape on there so I remember which one is negative, which one is positive, because they're the same color wire. Even though one of them got writing on it. Where is the writing? I don't know if y'all can see that right. Yeah, y'all can. So one of them do got writing on it, but yeah, I'll just put the tape on it just to remind myself. So let me go ahead and hook that up. Y'all see it, nothing in there. Hook that up, put the speaker in the trunk. Not all the way, but you feel me, just have it sitting in the trunk. And then we're gonna test it out, see how well it bang. So catch y'all in a second, I'm gonna let the camera charge. All right, y'all, so everything is wired up now and my camera's still low. 
So I'm finna try and get this done as quick as possible. So like I said, everything's wired up. So now all I gotta do is turn on the amp, turn on the head unit, the radio, and see if it plays. If it plays, I'm gonna leave it in here because I don't feel like taking it out, to be honest, you feel me? So hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully everything goes to plan. And yeah, we're gonna ride out like that. So like I said, I'm most likely gonna make another video putting this in the box Chevy. And then this one I'm gonna probably save for the Cutlass. It's only two 12s in the Cutlass, so this should, this should run perfectly fine in the, in the Cutlass, you feel me? If not, I got other amps too, you know? I still got my kicker amp. You feel me? I got, I got plenty other amps. So, yeah, I'm not wasting no money on, on music right now, like I told y'all. So, let's go ahead and turn this on and see what we can get playing. All right. All right, on. And before I turn the head unit on, I want to go and make sure this is on again. And it is. So let's turn on the radio. All right. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting, bro. I, I forget every every so often, bro. I don't know why it, do, it does that, bro. But like I said, I press this button. I'll show y'all. Press that down. And if I press this to go back up, it won't. See? It won't go back up. So. Yeah. Get my phone to connect. And it is. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Play. See bro, you see what I'm saying? I ain't even touching it. And it's just, it's just acting crazy. Oh no. Nah. Something going on. No, that that ain't right. You feel me? It'll play for a second and cut right off. I don't know what that is. Do not know what that is, bro. It didn't tear up my speakers. Yeah, I don't know. That's gonna come out though. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Don't know why I was doing that. Maybe the speakers was too much for it. I don't know. I know y'all let me know, but the speaker do cut on. But when it played, it played for a second, cut off. Play for a second, cut out. Play for a second, cut out. You feel me? I don't. I don't know what that is. None of my other amps have done that, so I don't. I don't know why that did it. But I will be giving this back to my dad. I'm not finna. I don't feel like dealing with that. So now I gotta figure out what amp I want to use. Put back in here. So I'm probably just gonna put my auto take back in, and we're just gonna rock out like that. These ants, bro, it's terrible over here. Oh, and this is my roller for when I order my sound deadening mats. You gotta use this to press it in and stuff. So, it's my roller. It's brand new. But yeah, I'm probably gonna just throw this back in there and just rock out with this, you feel what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm probably gonna throw this in the box Chevy and then the Memphis in here. Maybe put that in my Cutlass. I don't know, but we got plenty of amps at my dad's shop, so I just pick and choose whichever I wanna use. But yeah, I don't know why I did that. And luckily I went ahead and cut it off, you feel what I'm saying? Don't know what what was going on. Like I said, it played for a second, then cut back out. But it was beating for that little second it was playing. It is what it is, bro. I wanted to use this amp, but don't look like I'm gonna be able to. So yeah, let me get this out, clean up everything, put my auto tech back in. We're just gonna have to rock out with the auto tech, and I catch off for the outro. So I mean, y'all let me know in the comments why I was doing that. Like I said, maybe it was too much power from these speakers. Or maybe just something wrong with that amp. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all let me know and I'll catch y'all for the outro. Alright y'all, so got everything hooked back up now. Y'all can see the rock bills up here. I'm kind of sick because I, I wanted to use that amp in this car. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It'll be alright. So y'all can see everything hooked back up. Got my wood holding my, my speakers. You feel me? and i'm gonna end up rechanging this setup that way nothing to get caught the speakers won't get damaged or none of that you feel me so yeah like i told y'all man i gotta run to my dad's i gotta drop this stuff off he want me to put some wheels on his truck for him while he's gone and get some speakers out of his other truck because he's gonna drop the truck off to the shop you know what i'm saying so they can do some motor work on it so yeah man like i said i hope y'all enjoyed this video though um kind of upset i didn't get to use that rockville amp I mean, I know Rockville probably not the best option, you know what I'm saying? But 
it was it would have been more power i thought to the subs but I, like i said i don't know why the amp was doing it. it was cutting it was going in and out you know what i'm saying one second let me get some water yeah man like i said i don't know why the amp was going in and out but it's, it's all right it's all right you feel me like i told y'all we got plenty of amps at my dad's we got this car amp uh 1500 watts i'm trying to take it from him. he won't let me get it from him but i'm trying to sneak it from him you feel me if i can sneak that amp then i'm gonna throw that amp in this car you know what i'm saying that way the whole trunk setup will be scar you feel me so but you feel me like i said i'm not too worried about it it'd be all right you feel me i'm gonna later on down the line anyways i plan on changing all my music setup and all the cars from my cutlass i want to put honestly i don't know what i want to put in that car yet but i know my bike chevy i want to do 215s on the trunk and this car i want to leave the 312 scars in here but i want to change the amp so like i said later on down the line that's after i finish all the other cars you feel me so yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video though. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell on all the way. Y'all be notified every time I drop. Share the channel, share this video. Let's keep growing and elevating together. Uh, I gotta run to my desk before it start raining to do the stuff for him and then try to make it to the gym in time. Hopefully I hopefully I make it in time, bro. If not, I'm gonna have to cut something short. So yeah. Love y'all, appreciate y'all though. Keep God first and God bless, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.